Miles. Tonight, an eviction gone wrong. A mother and daughter sleeping on the sidewalk with everything they own. Eyewitness News reporter Jeff Platt explains why the women say their landlord is breaking the law. Jeff? Dave Rochelle, Elizabeth Smith and her mother Diana have been homeless for five days now. They aren't sour that they were evicted. They're mad because they say the landlord illegally moved their things. And like this used to be a desk and that was a chair and everything is just covering a Nile Street sidewalk is everything Elizabeth Smith owns. It sits in a massive heap in front of the apartment she was evicted from five days ago. All of Elizabeth's stuff has been on the sidewalk since Wednesday, the same day this eviction order was issued that says the landlord needs to keep her stuff safe for 15 days. They didn't care. He straight, he straight said, well, you're going to have to sue me. Hi, my name's Jeff Platt. I'm with Eyewitness News. I called the property manager to ask what was going on. The court order eviction notice does plainly say that they get 15 days. They claim Elizabeth moved all that stuff herself. Elizabeth says that's a lie. Just everything is broken to pieces. Now Elizabeth, her mother, and her dogs live on the sidewalk next to all her stuff. How do you sleep here? She's homeless, not because she has nowhere to go, but because she has no way to move her things and needs to protect them. We've had to guard everything we owned. And she'll keep standing guard, sleeping on the sidewalk, until she can find a way to move her things, which she says should never have been moved. Now, BPD does tell me that they were called out and say they informed someone in charge of the property of Elizabeth's rights. The property manager swears they have proof they didn't move the stuff, but they won't show me that proof, saying they'll only show it to a judge. Now, here's the thing. This story took a very happy turn just an hour or so ago. A uh, local company, Veterans Rideshare and also Pentagon Rides, two companies band together, take a look. They decided to help. They saw us post about this story on Facebook. They went over to Elizabeth's house. They've loaded all her stuff up. They're putting it into storage at their own facility, and they're going to take care of her. And here, listen to what they had to say about it. I mean, I got a call from one of my battle buddies, Chris Kozak, who's with Veterans Ride Share. It says, hey, I need you to get a crew together. Um, there's a lady that was thrown out for no reason. We need to figure out what's going on. Um, round some boys up, and then I grabbed two of my vehicles and my battle buddies behind me, and we're going to load all of her stuff up, put it in storage for, for her, and put her in a hotel room tonight. I just hope I wake up tomorrow and this is real. <laughs> and Ashton Kutcher's not there. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> This is, it just seems you can tell not real. Elizabeth there, obviously, very happy. Veterans Ride Share and Pentagon Rides, obviously, two companies locally, as I said, just doing their part to help out there. So at least a happy ending to this story. Live in studio tonight, Jeff Platt. I would.